Telecom subscribers are likely to pay new 9% tax on services. That is, if the National Assembly goes ahead with its plan to impose this. These taxes, of course, will apply to all users of electronic communication services. And that is everyone. Buiga, I know the government is making frantic efforts to increase its tax revenue, but don't you think 9% is too high? Absolutely. Um, so since the surprising thing is there is a similar tax that was introduced in 2008 in Ghana called the Communication Service Tax, and it's at 6%. Now, um, comparatively, if you look at the size of the Ghanaian economy to the Nigerian economy, it's about, we are about 14 times larger based on GDP numbers. If you look at it also in terms of telecom subscribers, we're four times larger than Ghana. Um, Teledensity Ghana is slightly better than us. But basically, all the parameters that you look at to say, should we charge a tax as high as 9%, uh, the arguments don't hold water. I don't see any reason why it should be more than 6%. But well, you tell me something. We're looking at 9%. Yeah. The GDP is about $574 billion, that is yeah. the nominal value, yeah. and the telecom sector is 9.9%. How much are we looking at if they impose this? If they impose the tax, remember that it will be a first-line item that is likely going to be borne by the customers. I do not see the telcos being altruistic and saying, okay, let's take a portion of this. So if you look at um, total revenues for the telecommunications sector in 2014 was about $9.8 billion. So, uh, a conservative estimate, that's about 980 million. If you use 10%, 980 wow. million dollars. If you use pay TV as an example, that's DSTV. DSTV, um, pay TV generated about 450 million dollars. So if you take 9% of that, which is about 45 million, you're talking about um, almost in terms of Naira value at 200, slightly more than 190 billion Naira. Wow. So now we are looking at conservative, very conservative. Conservatively. About $190 billion. That yes, is the way we $190 billion at Naira. Pay TV. If you wow. look at pay TV and you look at pay TV and telecoms. And now telecoms. remember, those are only two. Uh, we haven't also looked at broadcast revenues from radio. This also applies to radio. It hits basically every sphere of communication that you can think of. So you pay more in terms of um, DSTV, you pay more in terms of advertising, so your advertising budget for um, communications industry is likely going to go up. You, it hits you everywhere, basically. I mean, looking at that, that's, just, that's about 4% of its target. That is the 5 trillion Naira tax revenue they're looking at. But what are the chances, what are the likelihood of this passing through? Well, the thing is this, right? Um, um, it's, I think it's, a, it's second reading in National Assembly. Uh, my own issue is not so much the imposition of the taxes. It's actually the fact that, one, it's 9%. Ghana, like I said, is, is currently paying 6%. Um, secondly, the other issue I have with um, the tax and its imposition is also the fact that uh, since the beginning of the year, this is about the third tax charge or bill. Uh, the, the first month, January, it was um, COT rebranded as negotiable current account maintenance fee. It was a stamp duty. Then it was a stamp duty. And so now, now we have a this. CST. So, so now you're going to have a CST. So next month, only what is going to be? Yeah. So now we've seen the revenue of taxes. But interestingly, let me just tie this to you. You know that Lagos State was able to collect 12% more from its tax revenue despite the fact that the economy is crunchy. So I can see that the government is very is leveraging highly on the tax. But at what point do we stop? At what point do you we know, keep um, passing those risks to the consumers? You, you know, the basic thing um, right now is the Lagos State is fortunate that you have a lot of industries located here. Now, basically, every major company that is located in Nigeria has an office in Lagos. Administratively, Lagos is the place to do business. So it's relatively easy for Lagos State to increase its tax net. But um, compare the Lagos State economy to the economy of an Adam our states, which will most likely be agrarian. Yeah. You know, so it's it's going to be different. So the parameters you're looking at are different. But the question, as you've rightly said, is at some point, even is even Lagos State at some point will feel that it is from a tax perspective doesn't have that much leeway to grow anymore. Yeah. So um, as the DG of the MBS said, the focus should be to increase the number of people paying. That's the informal sector yeah. paying taxes. Yeah. And I think something interesting about this communication service tax is that. Nobody can actually you, you can't, hide you, from you it. You can't hide but from like it. But like of the value added tax that in a situation where you don't go to a formal market to make a purchase, you might actually be excluded. But if you're picking up your phone to make a call, if you're chatting on the phone, if you're buying data, whatever it is, everybody gets Everybody pays, everybody pays, pays, pays for it. And, and the interesting thing about it was um, in Ghana, there were teething issues regarding interconnectivity. That is, if Tosin calls from an Etisala line and she calls from an NTN, who bears the cost? But that was resolved in an amendment in 2013. So what I'm thinking, if 
federal government is doing is just basically taking what was done in Ghana, all their issues, and trying to implement it here. But whether it should be more, my own argument is always whether it should be more than 6%, I, I, I honestly don't think so. Wow. I guess the question now is, is Nigeria ready for additional taxes? Are we ready to pay 9% so, on communication service tax? That's over to you. Of course. BTVA will continue to watch the economic and financial news space, providing analysis that can in turn shape your business decisions. I am Oluwa Tosin Ola Sende. From the team and I, it is goodbye.